Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profodex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session guys, we are going to take the demonstration video of Library Management System WordPress plugin which is developed by Online Web Tutor. Ok, so basically guys, if you want to download this plugin, just visit this WordPress link. If you go to browser, just type on the Google that is something called Library Management System WP plugin. So if you search that, you get the first link about Library Management System plugin just click on this link after clicking on that you will get a link something like that this is the wordpress plugin guys which is developed by online web tutor if we scroll down here are the functionality guys actually the wordpress plugin provides okay and these are the extra features actually available in the premium version okay so basically these are the screenshots that we have attached along with the functionality of this plugin okay so basically guys this is the wordpress plugin that you can use to your project and also guys while using this plugin if you get any error any issue then please do comment feel free, feel free to do, do the comment in the comment box okay we will correct those issue in our next version of this plugin okay so this is a blank WordPress setup guys that we have set up for this plugin demonstration video okay so as you can see that right now there is no more functionality in this WordPress setup okay so if you want to suppose install this plugin to this WordPress setup just go to plugin section now click on add new we can add plugins right here from this list or we can download this plugin from here okay by downloading we can actually install by the zipped folder inside our WordPress setup folder okay so here we have two options either we can download or we can actually activate from this list okay just we have to type the keyword to search this library management system to this search box okay so let's say that library management system okay this is the keyword that we have to write to search that plugin from the WordPress repository so now we can see that this keyword has matched all these plugin lists from WordPress repository Okay, so if you scroll down to find the library management system developed by online web tutor now this is the plugin guys so far we have find with library management system and now this is the plugin that we have to install to this WordPress setup okay so just I'm clicking on install now so basically after clicking on that you can see that it is installing to our local WordPress setup okay and also we have another option to install that I have told from that you can download from this plugin from here after downloading zip folder from here guys you can install manually to your WordPress setup so just move to administrator panel and now we can see that it's installing to our local WordPress setup so successfully guys the plugin has been installed to our WordPress setup now we have to click on activate button so just I'm going to click on that and now it is reloading this page as we can see that the plugin activated successfully and this is the plugin guys so far that we have seen okay so this is the plugin description section this is the plugin name these are the two sub menus added and now this is the author details okay so successfully plugin adds a sub menu page as you can see so and when I click on this menu system so this is the front page front end page guys as we can see so if you go to the WordPress repository scroll down and now this is the dashboard that we have seen okay so we are going to use this plugin to our WordPress setup so before using this plugin guys if you just find that please find the details of the plugin here just I want to click that so this is a model which actually defines some of the features of this plugin and these are the author details to contact us okay so these are the features guys as you can study from this model so just I want to close let's add some of the students to use this plugin so just click here to go here we have seen three buttons called view or branch add branch and add student so basically each student of a college or a class actually belongs to a branch okay so basically before adding this student we have to make a branch suppose we are doing BTEC MCA and MBA from any college okay so basically these all contains the many branches okay so suppose we are going to add some of the branches let's say that computer science click on submit so it has successfully added let's add another branch let's say electrical just click on submit added let's another branch let's say mechanical added so successfully we have added three different branches to add all the students of our college click on view and these are the branches guys that we have added okay if suppose we want to edit any branch just I'm going to click on this pencil icon and now we can edit that 
and we can avoid this edit just click on cross button so successfully guys we can see that these are the branches section let's add some of the students to these branches just I want to click on add student after clicking on that this is the add student form so let's see that let's say 1005 this is the registration ID registration ID guys should be unique to each student okay let's say that this is a student name class should be computer science here is the email so let's say abcd at gmail.com phone number something dummy value so just I'm going to put some dummy value address info let's say that abc xyz and something okay this is the address info city something called Mohali this is and state should something like Punjab country should be something called India okay so these are the details guys that we have filled father's name let's say xyz mother's name let's say pqrs here is we have to provide the parents phone number okay so right now let's pass some value dummy value click on upload image this will open the media gallery of our WordPress setup this is something here okay so if you click on that go to media library and these are the details these are the images okay so let's suppose we have to select this image click here on submit and now we have successfully added one student so if we go to back this is a student guys that we have added if suppose we want to add the, the, these details of a students we just click on this pencil icon okay by clicking on that we can edit any details of this student okay so just back and now these are the, all the branches we have added here we can add branches and now by clicking on this button we can add students okay next we have to add called staff okay this is also a core department of any college or any anything institute okay something suppose that there are many faculties which is non technical which is technical and many more if they want to receive or issue any book from library then they can also use okay so here we have provided called add staff type what is staff type actually using this library system okay and by default guys we have provided two things like teachers and non teaching okay so let's suppose that add staff type we can add something else let the teachers associate with labs okay so this is type type called labs okay so basically we have three staff types as we can see from this list we can also edit from there okay so if suppose we want to add any teachers staff from these categories we can add by the help of this form okay so let's say that STF something dummy ID let's say that this actually registration should be a teacher let's say that this is the teacher name something ID something dummy value so let's ravi at gmail.com something phone number we have to select an image of this faculty just I want to click on this and we have to pass some address so let's say XYZ dummy address okay and city something called Mohali it says should be something called Punjab and let's select country it should be something called India okay so this is the details guys for creating a staff okay just I want to click on staff submit and we have added successfully our staff into this library system so if you go to staff list this is the staff that we have created so if suppose guys we want to edit these details we can just click on this pencil icon and we can edit all the details of the faculty okay so just back now it's time to add books basically we have added so far students and staff to this library system now it's time to use the resources of this library system okay so basically click on this book section so basically all the books in the library contained by a category system basically some books are related with our science fiction some books are related with astronaut some of the books are related with programming and many more categories we have okay so basically if you want to create any category for book section we can just click on this add category or create category and we can add right here okay so we have no default category for that okay so if you want to click so let's say science submit so if you go to view all categories so this is the category guys we have created we can edit these info by clicking on this pencil icon okay also just I'm going to click on add book and we are going to add some of the books for using these students as well as staff okay so let's choose a category so basically we have made a single category right now so just click on science let's pass some of the dummy ID for this book and let's say that learn gravitation 
okay this is basically the book name okay so if it's author something called ABC let's say DEF publication this is the publication name amount this is the initial amount of guys this book means how cost this is contains so let's say that the single book has the actual price something called 150 rupees this is the currency type okay we can actually change country wise currency as well okay if you go to settings panel this is the settings panel guys that we have developed and now inside the settings panel we can change according to our country and also we can change our currency type okay by saving all these details we can actually get those currency type right here okay so basically this single book contain or this book has amount of 150 INR Indian rupees okay so just I'm going to pass let's say this is some dummy information ISB numbers so let's say pass some is dummy value so let's say something that click on this upload image click on that click on select let's say submit okay so we have created a single book right now okay so just I'm going to click on back this is the book guys that we have created so basically guys we have created students staff and books so let's start that how can we issue a book to a student okay just I'm click on manage a book issue okay so basically right now there is no book issued to any student as well as when clicking on that there is no book issued to any staff okay so let's create a issue to a student okay so basically this is the issue date if I click on category so science category it contains a book called learn gravitation that we have created okay so how many days actually we want to get the book to the student okay so let's say for eight days okay if suppose the student keeps more than eight days then it will give some penalty or some fine to the librarian okay so let's say for eight days it will be allowed so user type let's we have to pass this book or issue book this to a student okay so user type should be a student after selecting that we have to choose any specific branch from this list okay so we want to actually give this book to a computer science branch and basically this branch contains the list of informations right here okay so this is the student and this is the registration ID okay so just I'm to submit so successfully guys we have issued a book to a student successfully okay so if you go to book list issue list so these are the details guys that we have submitted or issued to a student now after 8 days guys let's say that this student has going to submit this book to the library okay so just go to return book list now click on return a book so basically here we can return the book to a librarian okay so let's say that the user actually the student has going to submit this book okay so just it is of type a student select branch so this is computer science and now this is the student okay so basically this student has issued learn gravitation book okay so if I check that click on submit so successfully the book has been returned by the student to the librarian so if you go to book return list so this is return list and now the student has no fine because it has submitted before 8 days if suppose the student keeps more than 8 days then now it has to pay some fine to the librarian okay so just I'm going to create a new issue to this student okay so just I'm going to click on manage book issue create on issue a book let's say that this is we are going to create a science category choose book this is for 5 days only and user type should be something called teacher and this is Ravi Raman this is the st staff that we have created successfully submit and now we have created our issue to this staff type okay just back to issue list click on book issued to staff and this is the book that we have issued to this staff so basically guys I have changed the issue date to see the fine details of this library management system plugin okay so basically if I refresh this page so this book has been issued to this staff on the date called 25 October 2018 and now it's 6 of November okay so if you go to manage book return click on return a book select teacher type let's say that Ravi Raman he has a book called learn gravitation so let's say book return click on processing and now the book has returned been successfully so if you go to book return list click here on return book by staff and as we can see that it has some fine so if I click here on view fine details 
as we can see that the user has kept extra said days equal to seven means seven days extra he has been kept the book okay and now we have saved the per day fine rupees one okay so basically seven into one basically seven rupees okay so we have to submit this payment to the librarian before issuing a new book okay so if suppose we are trying to actually issue a new book to that staff click on issue a book let's say that science something called learn gravitation let's say 14 days user type something or teacher and now we know that this the staff has to pay some fine to the librarian so before that he has not allowed to actually issue any book so just I'm click on submit as we can see that the staff has late fine of last book issued needs to submit first okay so basically guys he has to submit the late fine of the last book issue before submitting or before creating adding any new issue so just go to manage book return clicking on return a book back just return book by staff and few fine details suppose the user has submitted by cash 7 rupees I'm clicking on mark paid it means that the user has paid all the late fines okay so successfully in the next step we can actually issue the new, next new book issue to the staff okay so let's science learn gravitation let's say 10 days choose teacher Ravi Raman and now the book has been successfully issued to the staff okay so if you want to set up any new functionality suppose in settings panel if you want to suppose let's say USD this is for United States America we need to change the amount let's say 5 USD per day needs to save settings so before that we have to select country so let's say United States okay so this is the country this is the currency code and this is the late fine per day just I'm click submit button so it's setting saved successfully if you go to our book section clicking on add book as we can see that the currency has been changed from INR to USD okay so successfully guys by the help of this plugin actually we can manage students staff and the book okay so by going to the dashboard guys these are the icons that we can see this will redirect to the student management this will redirect to the staff management this will redirect to our book section and this is book issue as well as return okay so by using this functionality guys we can actually manage the whole functionality of library okay if you want to know about the features of this plugin either you can study about the WordPress repository link here or you can click on this click here button okay all the specific details of this plugin you can get it from here and also guys while using this plugin if you find any issue any error then please do comment in the comment box I will give my reply as soon as possible actually guys this plugin we have actually developed before two days ago and now as we can see that the last updated three hours ago we have uploaded this re to the repo WordPress repository before three hours okay so basically guys I think that I have made much more clear concept about the working principle of library management system you can just download and use this flexibility of this plugin okay so I hope that you actually you are going to download this plugin and use your for general purpose so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day